Someone asked me last week, you stopped doing Will It Kill, right? You're not doing it anymore, like it's done. I was like, we didn't do one show, it was just the holiday. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. First and foremost, every month you submit your clips, then we go through, we find the clips, we make a show. The rules are quite simple. I play the clip, a character is in mortal danger. You tell me whether it will kill or not. You spend your hard earned channel points betting between each other, and then the winner, gets rewarded. I'm just the facilitator, you understand? I'm not here to get a cut or anything. You guys are just buying stuff between each other. It's like Facebook Marketplace, except you usually don't get stabbed in the parking lot over a toaster. I'm not here to cause any kind of problem. I'm just here to click play on the clip and then you guys just, you tell me what's happening, you know what I'm saying? Let's get in to Will It Kill, our first clip of the year. Boom, it's time. You know the deal has the meter. Oh, jump back, JD. Such a good defensive option. 2D. Bro. Not enough to kill, but Chip does. What a nice rollback. One more touch He's is done. all he needs. All righty, then. Chat room. A little KOF to kick off the year. You know what time it is. A little KOF. They just added a new mechanic. SNK was like, bro, everybody's talking about all these mechanics. They're pissed about drive rush and they're mad about 6XL. Whatever, dude. Let's add in a mechanic in our game get everybody pissed off about neutral skips or whatever. Hold my Corona and they just like handed over the beer and they're like, it's time. Let me show you why fucking KOF is king, all right? 73% of the vote is in on yes. 27% of the vote is in on no. Nice little yes vote to start. Let's see. Nice rollback. I love that. Me too, nice rollback. Love some, love some good rollback. Boom. Look at the way he kicks you in the chest. God, the way the kick lands in the Don't middle of his chest. Grab. Don't get anti air command grab. Wait, no. Oh. Boom. He's not dead. There's Rips up the earth. Snatches him. And he's dead. Just like that. The abrupt fit, just the smash into the ground, dead. Look at how much more life he had at the end before the super hit. He had a million life left, and it's like, well, all right, no problem. GG, boy, everybody's going through it. You know what it's like to look at the chat when you voted wrong, and the whole chat's just spamming easy money? You know they're mad right now. And you're making their life worse. How does that feel? All right, our second clip. A little French bread gaming. They've had a game that's come out and a lot of people have been trying to play it. It doesn't work online. So instead we have their other game. All righty then chat room. A little 2A classic Melty Blood start. I'll give you a hint. It's never just one 2A, it's multiple 2As. We didn't have any real uni clips submitted because the game just came out and it hasn't really been working online. Tekken 8 too, like people were submitting Tekken 8. Last night at like 8 p.m. and shit, you know, 9 p.m. They were trying to sneak in some Tekken clips at like the very end. We didn't find any that we thought were really dope, but next show I'm sure will be full of uni clips and Tekken clips, there'll probably be a million. 44% of the votes in on yes, 50 6% of the vote is in on no. It, you know, it's a classic Melty Blood. Even with a little bit of life left, you can never tell. The health bar is cursed. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> little low hit, boom. Boots you, rings you, drops you again. Super, charge up, launcher, super. A pixel, a pixel, as the commentator said, a pixel of life, the Melty Bug classic. The tiniest of one. This game never kills, bro. The French bread pixel. This thing, it's just like a crumb of a baguette just hanging on to the end of this bad boy. It does not go away. All right, you gamers ready for our next one? We usually always have a lot of Street Fighter on this show. You know, Capcom Cup's coming up. You guys have been doing all this studying. You're ready, raring to go. So let's check out our first Street Fighter clip. I, I could just move my my camera over here because uh, Makoto, I, I spoiler alert. Shinobu Hamerian, Shinobu san. All righty then, chat room. I you know I just figured I'd move to this side of the screen preemptively. Full life, little uh, Karakusa, grab her by the collar, see how she's doing. Nah, I ain't touching this. <laughs> What do you mean? It's, it's just a little, it's a little guess, a little game show we play here. Makoto on some bar. What are we thinking? This is her game show, and we're just living in it. This character has been on Willow Kill more than probably almost any other character, honestly. Sixty-one percent of the votes in on yes. Thirty-nine percent of the vote is in on no. Let's take a look. I don't know if you guys saw how she got grabbed. If you look, Chun Li went for a throw, 
and it was a super jump cancel into the command grab to be throw in bull. Look at this. He gets hit by the super. Chun Li walks up for a throw. <laughs> Super. Triple Fukiyage, a little jump in action. Boom, boom. Build the super again. Axe kick, chop, chop. Easy peasy. That's all it takes. You just have to be Tominaga Makoto God, the only human who does this combo all the time. No problem. By the way, I love this part after. At the end, the person walks up to the mic and says something along the lines of, what's fun about this? A woman just died in the streets and you guys are laughing? You guys think this is fun, huh? That's a fucking game to you? What's fun about this? Imagine playing this game for like 20 whatever years or however long it's been out, right? And then just saying that after you lose. Like you, at some point, your brain goes in fast forward like the movie Click when you get command grabbed by that character. You just can't be upset. You know what I mean? You just gotta go on, go next. Alrighty, our next combo, for real, for real though, we're on to some Street Fighter VI. I gotta say, this stream truly changed in my eyes once he started wearing the grandma glasses. I don't know what's going on here with Goichi, why he chooses to wear these glasses, but he's he's been rocking them, and I don't know why. These grandma goggles, he's he's been sporting these bad boys for a bit here. DJ Super, try to parry, boom. All righty, then chat room, just the classic. Now she gets her revenge after getting beat up in the last clip, you know. Back heavy punch combo starter, has two bars a meter. Look at these grandma goggles he's got equipped. That's the real GGs right there. They gotta be Roto Z prescription. Like there's gotta be something going on, right? Like there's gotta be a reason. 66% of the vote is in on yes. 34% of the vote is in on no. All right, let's take a look. I was doing this combo the other day when I was reviewing the new Leverless on screen. So if you guys were watching my Leverless review, you know exactly how much damage this combo does. Cause I was doing this combo in my review. Boom, Hazanchu drive rush, double drive rush, level two. It, it's not enough. But then he builds a level one and it <laughs> barely kills. Just a little bit of life at the end. He, he barely builds the bar. This one hit, he only gets one hit on the juggle and it builds the bar for the level one. Look at that. He says the strongest character after too. He's like, look at look at this character. Look at Chun Li go. We making it out of the hood today. You're doing all right. Next clip. You guys might already even know who's playing by the button noises at the start of this clip. You might even be able to tell straight up. LK, you guys have a tuned ears. You guys know what you're talking about. Alrighty, our next Street Fighter clip. Okay. All righty then, chat room. Look, look, normal combo starter, right? Regular old combo starter. Rashid in a prime position to take the round. He's doing a little uh, relaxing, a little lounging on the floor. As you start most combos, on your back, getting hit by a knockdown. Both of them getting punish countered at the same time somehow. A pretty nice split here. 74% on yes, 26% of the vote in on no. Let's take a look. A lot of you seem to be... Uh, believers. Maybe it's just funny to believe in this clip because the tornado starter is too funny not to kill. You know what I mean? Eagle spike. Eagle spike. Eagle spike. <gasps> How did he get so many? Someone clip this. <laughs> Someone clip this combo. Don't worry, they did. <laughs> Why did this motherfucker get three eagle spikes into the whole universe off of his own knockdown? It's so unreasonable, dude. Drive reversal. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> even he knew. He was like, oh no. It's so unreasonable, man. He didn't even have another level one after two. So imagine if he had like, if he had three meters, he could have level two into that whole combo into like four medium punch, level one juggle at the end. Like, yeah. People seem to be doing okay. The rhythm of the show is agreeing with your votes. You got a good eye to the sky. This is like the skill based half where everything is just, what, how good is your scholar's eye? The second half is if I dropped you into the jungles, put you out there like the hatchet, you know, could you survive out there? How well we have legally distinct fighting game characters here. Okay. This is not Hagar fighting thing. Yoink. 
All righty then, Shyram. Simple little clip. You know, we got a little Zangief clip. Reversal, gauge plus 15. What does that mean? That shit sounds like a Dark Souls. Why does he get plus 15 gauge? Not sure, but it doesn't seem good for old uh, Darren up there. Darren, Darren, crusty graphics. This was cutting edge at the time. You understand that at the time, people looked at this kind of shit and they are like, this looks so much like real life. How could we ever get better? It's unbelievable. 55% of the votes in on yes. 45% of the votes in on no. Guys, a little unsure about this one, huh? It's a Zangief command grab. You know what's happening. Boom. Snatch him. Lift. Suplex. Double. The big hop. Over the back. Wee. The earth. That's all of you, chat. And then he lives. No problem. You just drag him up over the whole planet. And he just, he's fine. Just gets, oh, my back hurts. Wee. Easy peasy. Ends as all matches should, honestly. Can someone answer my question? Like, what's going on here? How come Zangief drops you over the whole earth before? He doesn't do that anymore. He's not, he's too lazy. He got too old. Like, what's going on here? If he goes to outer space, his loyal fans can't see him. That makes way more sense. Alrighty, our next clip. These two gamers are both at Frosty Faustings right now, by the way. To make it into the old and Arc World Tour, you know how it goes. We got the Nubenheimer versus SQ. What could I be, actually? All righty then, chat room. I'll, I'll give you a little bit more so you can see the life bar. A little Nubenheimer sliding in to get the kill. Counter. The best part is there's just no more life bar. You can see it back there though. Non Hotashi Nago, it kills. Okay, first of all, can I just say that's toxic? Second of all, can I just say that's impeccable logic? His combos are like, he sees a circle and he's like, let me put the square peg in the round hole. And then he's like, oh yeah, that's an oval. I'm gonna drop the rectangle in this bad boy. And you got a circle right there? Let me put the pyramid inside. Like he's definitely just making some shit up. 59% of the votes in on yes. 41% of the vote is in on no. Let's find out. 5H, 2H. You're not good. <laughs> You're not. You're not. Oh, I win, I win. Get fucked. Get fucked. Oh. You know, when you get hit and you just say, you're not good, that's how you know you're going through it. You know, we've all been there. We've all gotten hit and said, you're not good. We do have, by the way, I realize this is the launch month for our show, rather, of Grand Blue. So we do have some Grand Blue. I'm sure a lot of you have been, you know, perusing this game, watching this game a little bit. I feel like before, Maybe not a killing game. Now, this game is a killing game. All righty then, chat room. Little Eureka starter. Just look at her. <laughs> look at her face. That's what it looks like when you get hit by the pan. It happens to the best of us. I think I messed up. You know how often on this show people vote for the wrong thing and then win or vote for the wrong thing and then lose? Is it just that you're in a rush to get your vote in because you think you know the answer and then you just click the wrong thing? 68% of the votes in on yes. 32% of the votes in on no. Backdash. You rack up. You rack up, me rack up. Sweep. Rack up. Two age. Boom. Raw super. Well, she does look a little dead, I can't lie. She had no bravery points at the start of the combo. Now, I listen, I wasn't going to point it out. It's too easy if I just tell you. That's Cheetah's like most damaging starter to hit you by. And opponent has no crystals left. Like, yeah. What the fuck is a bravery point? Oh, boy. These crystals up here are a new system mechanic in this game. And when you have two crystals, you take normal damage. But when you have one crystal, you take increased damage. If you have no crystals left, then you take even more damage. Probably an important thing to know if you're gambling on a clip, wouldn't you say? Alrighty, our next clip. A character I played, you guys probably know about how much damage she does or doesn't do. All righty then, Charu. Easy little hit, rollback frames cranked. Look at that, you can see she's got the crystals up here. Now you know they both got the crystal. You're more informed. See, who didn't say that this is a learning program? Okay, will it kill is a, it's a moment about teaching. This is not a degenerate gambling parlor. 
where you come in smoking your old uh, Charlestons or whatever, and we uh, just do kind of uh, debauchery. We're all here to learn together. Now put your damn channel points on the table where I can see them. 58% of the votes in on yes. 42% of the votes in on no. A lot of you believers in this game. I think honestly, it's funny that Grand Blue to me turned around. It used to be like always alive, and now it's like this motherfucker's gonna explode. <laughs> Counter hit, close age, boom. Boom. Set the portal, teleport, super. Not even close to death, by the way. Not even close. That's what the trap is for, boom. He's fucking dead. That's goddamn right, Germa. This character, I don't know if you guys know, if you're not knowers, Kag, specifically can combo after her super. And for some reason in this game, when you do a super, the combo limit like resets. She can do a whole new combo on top of it, on some Chris Hoos shit. Pretty cheap. I don't know if they intend for this to be the case or not. I, I'd be very surprised if this doesn't change in some way. <laughs> Alright, on our last clip for the half, also last Grand Blue clip. Let's take a look. Ooh, all the, all the righty then chat room. Raw command grab action, oldest trick in the book. Indeed, there are no crystals spotted. This is a will kill staple. We've had a lot of these today. Actually, you know, when I think about this first half, it's the raw command grab from Zangief. It's the raw command grab from Makoto. You guys got this figured out. 66% of you vote yes. 34% of you vote no. Something about fighting games, Universally, with button into 720 is really funny, no? Just with button 720. It's good every time. Count them down, anime sage gem. Look at that bar. 2.99. No three count on this. She kicks out. I'm sorry to say OTG. No, she doesn't get an OTG, but she could drop kick your ass. It is not enough to kill a chat room, I'm sorry to say. That is a no. All of you just vote yes, you simply see a command grab super and that's all it takes to get a yes vote out of you? Jeez, I gotta start doing this more often. How's everybody's records looking? It's like a charcuterie board of clips, you know, we have a little something something to taste for everybody out there. Four sixes, some six fours. Zero. I don't know what that means. Just none? Like you didn't participate or the other thing, which I don't want to, you shouldn't say. The odds of you not betting right on a 50-50 that many times in a row seems unlikely. By the way, halftime show is a great time for you to exclamation point vote, by the way, while you're recovering from your gambling addiction. If you scroll down on the streamer awards, you can vote for the best fighting game streamer of the year. Wow, you're liking Will It Kill so much, you're having so much fun. Head on over to thestreamerawards.com slash vote and vote for your boy if you'd like to, or vote for whoever you think is cool on there. German's not on here, so you gotta vote for your second favorite fighting game streamer of the year. There's some clips on here that we wanted to use in the show, and then, you know, they're a little hard to use. This one got submitted a lot. The, the gets a hit, no, no, activates, no, no. opponent starts alt-tabbing no, no, to try to lag the game so that they'll drop the hit. Yeah, yeah, no. The classic just starts alt-tabbing over and over, hoping that the, the combo won't right, the snake eyes won't kill. It's pretty funny, but we didn't end up using it. Because we've had a <laughs> we've had a combo that's like this many times on the show before. Also, this clip got submitted a lot. I feel like everybody saw this. I saw it got posted to Reddit. It's like 40 seconds of Crusader beating the shit out of Lost Warrior. Like, he's having a bad time. You know, everything's not looking so good. Putting the Lord's might right into this guy's ass and just beating him up and then he gets hit by a sweep. You may notice there's like 40 seconds left and it's going to be exactly what you think. Uh, it's exactly what you think. This guy does this combo. It goes, it goes the whole time. Like this whole thing confirm boom, time freeze, time stop. Super. This was all over my timeline. Like, this is everywhere. Like, I saw this clip so much that I was like, there's nobody who's not gonna vote yes on this. First of all, he had combos like this even in the other version, but yeah, like, he legit just TODs you from sweep, so. This one also we were thinking about using. It's such a cool Street Fighter clip. It's honestly a really nice idea, but it is a little difficult to use in the context of the rest of the show. Aki in Burnout, you know, she does this cool anti-air. She's fighting for her life, trying to fight against this Ken, top seven at best. And then the Ken wakes up level three to chip her. 
So we were gonna maybe have this on here as like a will it chip. Is that enough life to chip, right? So starts to chip and then she regains the drive gauge right on the last hit that's gonna chip. It was enough to chip. She definitely was chipped if it didn't come back. A little hard to use and some people might be like, I was robbed and like all that kind of stuff, you know? So we were like, all right, we don't even wanna give anybody ammunition. This one too, same kind of thing, another will it chip. Look at the <laughs> classic, classic. Just stuck, Venom knocked down, puts the super on you. You're like, what up? What you gonna do? This shit is, we were really close to putting this in the show. Unfortunately, the only way to play this game is against the AI. But we got submitted Santa Fighter. The whole, ho oh, oh, when he's juggling you is pretty good. Yeah, there was a toggle bell noise on the counter hit, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, you guys ready for our second half? Shake off those bad vibes from the first half if you had a rough show, but if things have been going well so far, you know, clean it up, get ready for the second half. Things get a little sillier in this half for sure, so it's on you to maintain composure. Here we go, the BB tag. Fade away, boop. All righty then chat room. Favorite thing about this clip, the Steam notification of Bear Spook getting online right next to the activate windows. Then in the top left, it says 60 FPS. And then a smaller thing, it says 60 FPS again. Truly the most unhinged footage I've ever been submitted. Surely they activated windows right after this with their legal code that they were supplied with the purchase of Microsoft's product, correct? They just forgot, it's a new PC and the first thing they did when they booted up their PC is play some BB tag, right? They just boot up a little BB tag arena. 67% of the vote in on yes, 33% of the vote in on no. We're gonna activate some windows here. A little jump back jab, look at this, a little fade away, boop. He's getting red hot. A little cyclone at the end. And another super. Well, that is a lot of damage. I can't lie. From a little fade away, jump back jab, cross, finish. Look, look, the bit rate is so wild. You can't even see that the window is not activated anymore. So confident, just submitting a clip to the show with the Windows thing and the FPS and the Steam notification and everything else. You know how many people, by the way, submit clips where it's like Linkin Park in the background, nude mods and like just all kinds of like, you know, ridiculous stuff on the screen. And they're just like, this will make the show. Surely he'll play this on his channel. Uh, this is a new character. A lot of you probably haven't seen this character much. A character that I'm unfamiliar with, actually. I haven't seen him do much before. Bam. You see that fade away? Look at the fade away on this hit too. Bam, just out the boot, like shoots a little blast out the boot, catches the back dash. This is Brawler, the new character. I haven't seen him, his gameplay much before this, to be honest with you. It's Twitter, it kills. Uh, this is in fact a Twitch clip, but I like your spirit. Vimeo, it does. <laughs> We've definitely had a Vimeo clip submitted before, that's for sure. 43% of the vote is in on yes. 57% is in on no. Rare, mostly no vote or especially for this game, but in general in the second half, you'd love to see it. You'd love to see a little bit of restraint. Yeah, you are Snipe the back dash, boom. Slides in, gives him the boot, slides in. Barrels. Why does he spawn the extra barrels? Like this shit is a fucking bonus stage. Like where do these barrels even come from? Nets. What is this character doing, man? A pixel of life and summons the barrels for the Oki. These barrels are hilarious. Why does he summon barrels like this? Like what's even going on here? That's still dead. Oh, I didn't realize combos that don't kill actually still kill. Oh, I didn't realize that the show, the way it works is that it doesn't function at all. Forehead <laughs> makes so much sense. In fact, they don't even die to this barrel. In fact, they don't even die at all. 
they win the round a fighting game player in my chat not accepting a loss this would never happen you guys ready for a little chun -Li action it's rare that we get to see chun in the second half she really is in a game that has second half energy but here we go i don't you're not in my pocket give it I like the burst is the ring. They just all fly out everywhere. That's not Chun-Li? Wait, are you sure? I mean, I'm not sure. I thought it was. Maybe I'm wrong. I make a good argument? Yeah, I thought so. By saying, are you sure? Isn't that like, it just puts a little doubt in your mind, you know? I don't remember Chun-Li having a dive kick, but that looks close enough. That is correct. Yeah, this is Sonic Smackdown. I think this has been on the show like twice, maybe before this or something like that. It's definitely been submitted many times. 70% of the vote is in on yes. 30% of the vote is in on no. You guys are Chun-Li believers. Let's go, Justin. I, I love this dive kick, by the way. Look at this dive kick. Like, dive kick on block, dive kick on hit, dive kick hit confirmed three times, spinning bird kick, up kicks, knockdown. That's a Marvel Infinite Super. That is lightning light. -like. That is up kicks again, by the way. This is what I'm talking about. Look at you. Into Chun Li's ender. That I mean, you're gonna tell me this is not Chun Li? None of you guys believe me at all. You guys are like this guy, Sage M, doesn't know what he's talking about in the slightest. Yeah, I know. I like the rings flying out of him as he dies. I'm pretty sure that's just like Marvel Chun Li. That's Lee Chun. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the person that commentates with the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the one that yells say jam right okay chum lee from pawn star <laughs> you know idol showdown heard oh it's anime i like that you heard it chaos code you guys are just you can hear it and you just know the game let's see let's see yeah. open her up low smack her with is that a broom i don't even know i don't even know what that is it is a hollow live fighting game that is uh that's a real thing isn't it free also by the way they probably can't sell a game with the rights to like all the idols to stuff that they just don't own you can now wait why they made a studio for official fan games what that's wild 61 percent of the vote is yes 39 percent of the vote is no when did they do this recently okay wow all righty well let's check out the clip yeah. dash in dash out catch a low boom ah. who's this sherlock holmes motherfucker in the background Like, what's even going on? Oh, it's Amelia Watson. Oh, that makes more sense. The assist. Boom. The explosion. Combo after. This is some real detective work right here, I gotta say. And a pixel of life. I don't even know where this is on the life bar. You literally just can't see whatever's left. Is this character supposed to be Alpha? Is that what this fighting style is? It kind of reminds me of it. I don't know this VTuber. Why is Vegeta in the corner? I can't tell you. Sometimes the clips have Chun Li, sometimes the clips have Vegeta. You know, it's no problem. Pecora is the most watched female streamer, by the way. I'm not familiar. Sometimes, you know, that's one of those things in life where you find out something like this X is the most popular thing on the planet. You know how Pal World is like the most played video game or whatever, right? If you're not playing it, like you're missing out on something that the whole goddamn planet is partaking in and you're like, huh? <laughs> like, like everybody's playing what now? That's an Eevee. And you're like, no, it's not. That's a legally distinct Pikachu right there. Don't worry about that. All right, our next clip. We've had like similar-ish things on like the halftime and stuff, but I don't think this game has ever been on the show to my memory. This is Common Rider. Jump over, does a little little fade away. Boom. Catches him low. A little low sweep. Bam. Launcher. How does he get so much hang time on this, by the way? I love it when characters kick someone over the life bars. Me and you, we can hang out. You just kick him over, no problem. You're like, what up, motherfucker? Bam! Stop voting no. You're ruining the odds. What if it is no? Like you're gonna tell them all to not vote the answer they think it is? 68% of the votes in on yes. 32% of the vote is in on no. Common rider enjoyers, you guys believe in the life bar situation. I like that. Just boom, boom, launcher. Bam! Hit him with the car into the air. Second car. And he enders. Flat on his back, but still alive. The best part is I love the Oki. Are you ready for the Oki? Watch this. Whoop! Jump. There's a car, motherfucker. You see that shit? You never let him know your next move. Oh, I'm in the air. Maybe you should end there. Bam! There's a fucking car. You love that? It'll jump in the air. Bam! And the best part is you can see this red common rider dude is like, oh, maybe I can act. Boom. Oh, 
Oh, it's so good. Why is there a car, man? It's a hoverboard that becomes a bike. I'm sorry, I don't know the common rider lore. I believe you though. We're cruising right along in the second half, I can't lie. Next one, got some Kazunoko gaming. You guys know Kazunoko, very famous fighting game player. Multi-time Evo finalist, Capcom Cup champion, the GOAT to many people. Uh, he's doing some gaming. Noda! A little dive kick action, dive kick combo starter, easy peasy, look at him go. It's a one punch man game, yeah. He's doing a combo from three quarters life. Yeah, it's Kazunoko. You think Kazunoko would play this game if he wasn't a fucking base at this thing? He's actually like a big YouTuber. I don't know if you guys know, but his like YouTube channel and viewership and stuff is absurd. He's like a content creator now to me in the amount of stuff that he pumps out. And then he just enters... Capcom Cup or or SFL or whatever, and he's like about to qualify for Capcom Cup or win the tournament or whatever, and you're like, what the fuck? This guy's a beast. Like, how is Kazunoko so good? 60% of the votes in on yes, 40% of the votes in on no. Whoa, do you see this? I'm wax on, wax offing the... Whoa, that was tight. I don't even know what I just did. Ah! <laughs> Dive kick. <laughs> The best part is that the last one he doesn't even yell. The game breaks. He screams, boom. And then the last one, look at this. He lost his voice. Like, I don't even understand. Why is his combo dive kick into scream? I mean, to be fair, Kazunoko, when he played Street Fighter 4, he actually was like, I'm not trying to play any neutral, bro. I'm, I don't know how to play footsies. I'm going to play Yun. I'm trying to skip that nooch. And he did that all the way to Capcom Cup. We got Eternal Zero for our next clip. Let's take a look. A little, a little foozy on the ground. A little foozy in the air. Look at the range on this. Do you see this? Just a little boop from across the screen. <laughs> Very powerful, I can't lie. You gotta respect having that kind of range for a confirm, you know? Because if you don't, your ass is gonna get beat. It's the character called Mid, yes. This character's name is Mid. She's been on the show before. People made fun of her. Because like in nomenclature, like that wasn't a thing. People just didn't say this person's Mid or this thing is Mid for a long time. So now suddenly it's not a cool name to have, you know? Mid is bad. It's like your name, if your name has L in it, it's over for you now. Everybody just L's you. This is a straight 50-50. Let's find out. It's more than a 50-50. Air to air, bam. Confirm. Slapper with a book. Knowledge is power, bro. I love the way she flips off the wall. Just like bounces for no reason. Bam. Ice, motherfucker. And then the best part, you kill her and that shit says now loading already. You died so fast that they already have a screen up that's like your ass is cooked. You're not cut out. You're not tough enough for this. This is a, uh, we got a soul bad guy combo. This deep in the show. Here he goes. The music's kind of, kind of going off though. Boom. There's our hit. Soul bad guy, Shoto. He's not Shoto Khan. He's Shoto Kanji. He's the soul bad guy that went out for cigarettes and never came back. This game is Duel of Fortune. We've had Duel of Fortune on the show a few times and it's so fucking goofy. Like it's, it's such a goofy little game. The sound design in this game makes no sense though. There's like no noises for any of the hits. Like it's just the music is bumping and then there's nothing else. 48% of the votes in on yes, 52% of the vote is in on no. A lot of no believers in this one. I like that. I like people voting no on the second half. Let's take a look. Like the sound effects are so quiet and then there's the music. Offensive burst, sure you can, into Tatsu. Off the wall, back into the corner. Metsu, Volcanic. And it doesn't kill. Just a little pixel of life. And then he just goes, fuck it, we ball. Sure you can on the tag. Bandit. I'm so back. I see it in the chat. I'm so back. Easy money. I'm so back. We have two clips left in Will It Kill. This one, another Duels of Fortune combo, by the way. Second to last clip of the show before we try out one of the two fighting games that are not working. 
Ready for this round one. Fight. Fousey. Do you see the fucking Fousey on that boot? Jackson. Evil Lobster just whiffs at round start and gets his ass whip punished. It's got a krill. He has a gun? Who? Oh, there is a gun back there. I just realized there's bullets on his... Th I didn't even know what that was. I thought that was just part of the stage. And he shot one bullet already. That's a little scary. He put one out. Well, who did he shoot? Happy Chaos at it again. 66% <laughs> of the votes in on yes. 34% of the vote is in on no. A lot of you seem to be believing in Jackson. After that despicable whiff punish, I don't blame you. Look at this shit. Whiff, boozy. He drive rushes in. What the hell is this shit? I love his homie comes to help. Get your ass over there. Boom. He just throws the little shark, man. His homie was like, I got you, bro. Let me just help you out. And he just throws his ass. That's messed up. And he lost his hat. And he used the bullet cancel. Across the whole basketball court. Again, he does it. Tatumog puts the hat back on and boots him into the fucking net. Let me get this straight. You drop him in the middle of the screen. You combo to the right corner. You combo to the left corner. You combo back to the middle and put your hat back on. If you say so, like, if that's how you feel, my fault. I didn't realize it was like that. Last clip better be Kanta. So we only had one Kanta clip submitted for the entire show by not our normal submitters, by the way. It got submitted by someone new. Everybody's excited. We watch it. It was, you know, very cool, right? Like very exciting. And uh, the clip didn't have any audio. That's like the entire point of the clip, the entire point of the game, TBH. So we were like, well, instead, we got a lovely little clip here. We have from a game we've had on here before, I think. Inahocho Dynamite Bomb. I like the Cannonball Oki. You try that shit against Sataro. Listen, you're digging your own grave is all I'm gonna say. Is Annie okay? <laughs> Annie, are you okay? I see the cut of your jib, I understand. I can play the beginning of the clip again if you want. She gets the hit, knocked down in the corner, cannonball Oki, wake up. Oh, that's Soul Far Slash if I've ever seen one. Hold up. I'm pretty sure. This one's pretty close. It's almost, oh my God, I did it again. I wax on too hard. 48% of the vote is in on yes. 52% of the vote is in on no. It's pretty split. This is like a pretty 50-50 vote. Let's take a look at the clip. Far Slash. Knee. Look at that knee. All the way over. OTG into the air combo. The kid's jumping up in the down in the background. Kicked her into the dirt. Juggle in the air again. Break her back twice. Behind the back over the coat. You see that? Not enough to kill. Just a pixel of life. Look at this. Boom. A pixel of life with the cape billowing in the background. I love that the kill in this game is we have a result. We have a result, and the result is no. Where did that win come from, anyway? Why is his, his cloak billowing? Five million yes, five million no. And at the end, somebody's coming out rich and someone's coming out a little tough. Uh, next month, keep in mind, this show is scheduled to be during the Friday of Capcom Cup. Now, Capcom Cup has two Fridays. It's a little greedy. Because of that, there is a chance that I'll be working Capcom Cup and then I'll be there and then we might not be able to do the show or something. We'll have to figure it out. We'll have to see what's going on. But I'll let you gamers know. Willie Kill is filmed in front of an online studio audience on the last Friday of every month. If you have a combo that you think will kill, submissions open on the Monday before the show. Just go to twitch.tv slash sagejam and type exclamation point form in the chat for details.